17 months, Lana and Micah May. Couple number three married just eight weeks, Leela and Michael Whitlock. And couple number four married 18 months, Andrea and Alan Brink. And now, uh, here's the star of the New England game, Bob hello to our four couples over there. You guys ready to play this game? Yeah. Well, I hope you are. Okay, we hope you have a great time on the show. Here's what, I'm going to ask the guys some five-point questions. In order to do that, we must ask the ladies to go off to the soundproof area. All right, while the ladies are leaving, I'd like to remind our husbands I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you get five points. And remember, it's the one couple with the most points at the end of the show that wins a fabulous second honeymoon. So the ladies are gone, and guys, here's your first five-point question. You ready? Gentlemen, when you compare your wife to most of your ex-girlfriends, will she say that you think they had bigger brains, bigger bras, or bigger bank accounts? What do you think, Alan? Oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Did they have bigger brains, bigger bras, or bigger bank accounts? Oh, they had bigger bras. Bigger bras? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Not as sorry as you are, but I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Michael. Uh, bigger bras. Bigger bras. <laughs> Micah. Go with bigger bras. Bigger bras. <laughs> I knew you'd go with bigger bras. Yeah. <laughs> Richard. i go with bigger bras, Bob. Because, you know, it's still larger, so i go with bigger bras. <laughs> what was your answer? Bigger bras. I thought that, yes. Okay. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. What will your wife say is the oldest item in your refrigerator right now? Be specific. What would that be, Michael? The, the oldest item in your refrigerator right now? Uh, eggs. Eggs. Okay. Micah. Ooh, um, the lettuce. Lettuce, okay. <laughs> Richard? Some barbecue sauce. Barbecue, how old is it? About two months. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> Alan? It have to be some locks. There's some uh, smoked salmon in there that I won't touch. <laughs> how long has it been in there? It's outdated. I can see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's the last of our five-point questions. Gentlemen, how will your wife say you would complete this sentence? Now, remember, this is you talking. I know that patience is important in a marriage, but I think I've waited long enough for my wife to at least try what? Micah. Uh, different moves. Can I, I say that? <laughs> Can I say it? Looking at the judge. Is that legal? Oh, that's fine. Oh, okay. Jeez. All right. All right, different moves. That'll work. Richard? To at least try to park the car. She never know how to park the car. At least try to park the car. Yeah, she never know how to park the car. All right, Alan, you waited long enough for your wife to at least try what? And have a baby. Oh, you're going to try to have a baby? Have a baby, yeah. You want a baby? Yes, I do. Does she want a baby? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Michael. Um, get up in the morning and make me lunch. But at least try to get try up in the morning, morning and make you lunch. lunch. Exactly. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll be right back to reunite our newlyweds. We'll see how our husbands have to get there, but they're today. Now, gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You have them on your laps. Every time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. It's the one couple with the most points at the end of the show that wins a really wonderful second honeymoon. So, ladies, it's nice to have you back with us. We found out some fun things about you while you were gone. Here's our first question for five points. Ladies, when your husband compares you to most of his ex-girlfriends, does he think they usually had bigger bank accounts Bigger brains or bigger bras? Uh, Mia, he's comparing you to most of his ex-girlfriends. Do they have bigger bank accounts, brains, or bras? Bras. Bigger bras. Yes. He said they had bigger bras. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 is he not happy with what you've got? Oh, he's very happy. He just had too much then. Oh, I see. <laughs> An abundance of. Lana, yes. what do you think? Yes. Wow. Oh, I, there must be bras, because he says I'm perfect. So, I mean, since he's with me now, it must be the bra. The big, the, so yeah. his ex-girlfriends had bigger bras. Yeah. All right, he predicted they perfect. all had much bigger bras. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Leela, you're looking very strange at this question. Well, that's a hard one, but I would say bras, too, because... You'd say, what's the matter? Well. <laughs> well what's the matter? Well. <laughs> I can't see anything. Well, we oh, I, see. Oh. I can't either. Oh, he can't either. <laughs> Bigger bras, he said. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 
think, Andrea. Most of his ex-girlfriends have bigger bank accounts, bigger brains, or bigger bras. Bigger bank accounts. Bigger bank accounts. All right. He predicted absolutely bigger bras. <laughs> bigger bras, babe. They didn't have brains or bank accounts. <laughs> That's why I married you. <laughs> why, why did you marry her? Because of her bras? Brains. Oh, brains. <laughs> brains. You clever devil, you. Yeah. Okay, next question, ladies. What's the oldest item in your refrigerator right now? Lotta? That must be the cottage cheese maybe we have in there? Cottage cheese. He cheese said the oldest there. item in your refrigerator right now is the lettuce. Yes. <laughs> That's I thought it threw it away. I'm sorry. Eli. Probably sour cream. It sour cream? Yeah, it shouldn't said, be green. But it, it's green? Know. Yeah. Oh, my sour goodness. Cream. He said no, it's sour eggs. Cream. <laughs> eggs are old. Eggs. Come on. You don't eat your eggs, so. Well, you don't make them for me. Well, you never eat eggs. Uh, I'll save lettuce. Lettuce. He predicted that. Uh, you know what you got in your refrigerator? <laughs> that the, the date has gone past. Card, please. No, it's the locks. Oh, yeah. I've been eating, <laughs> I've been eating bagels with just cream cheese. I won't touch that salmon. <laughs> Mia. I have to say chicken. Chicken. Okay, he said the oldest item in your refrigerator right now is. The barbecue sauce. Baby, you know that two months ago the barbecue sauce in there. And you were so, you were so right. right. You were so right. But there, it, the chicken it was equally in there, too. Yeah, but, you know, I eat much of that, so, hey. The chicken's uh, been in there for two months? No, it's just one piece of chicken, and I have all the gravy and everything in there. It's just one piece left, you know? Uh-uh. <laughs> I've never been to your house. He should have chosen chicken. Here's, here's the last of our five-point questions. Ladies, how did your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking. I know that patience is important in a marriage. But I think I've waited long enough for my wife to at least try what? Leela, he's waited long enough for you to at least try what? Corn? Corn. <laughs> Corn. <laughs> Corn. Now he said he's waited long enough for you to, to get up and make his lunch. Make my lunch. <laughs> I get up every morning. He gets four o'clock in the morning. She can get up and make my lunch. Four? Four o'clock in the morning, so I won't have to do it. Oh. Andrea, he's waited <laughs> long enough for you at least to try what? Riding his dirt bike. Riding his dirt bike, all right. <laughs> he said for you at least to try uh, to have a baby. Oh. <laughs> well, don't you want to have a baby? No. Dog and the, dog and the cat. Those they are don't talk kids. back. I got you. Neil, <laughs> he's waited long enough for you at least to try what? To keep gas in the car. To keep gas in the yes. car scared me to death. <laughs> <laughs> I started to shiver right there. Now, he said he's waited long enough for you to at least try to park, park your own car, car, honey. Honey, you know I have to come up every time you no, come home no. to park the car, baby. No. Honey, you You're not even park. home every time I come home. But you know, How you could you, you say every time? I hate when you say every time. You can't oh. park the thing. Baby. I love you anyway. Oh. You got it wrong. Yeah. What? To put on my work clothes away, I put all my... Dirty clothes all over the place, and I know he hates it. Yeah, yeah. That's not what he said. Oh, it's no. not. He said that for you at mind? least to try uh, uh, some different positions. Right. Well, what moves? Oh, moves. No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're not talking about the clothes. I'm anymore. sorry. <laughs> moves, positions. Who the heck cares? We'll be right back to see how well the wives have predicted what their husbands will say. Husbands have been secluded off stage. It's your turn to predict what they will say. Remember, each question will now be worth 10 points. And here's our first question. Ladies, which holiday will your husband say best represents the very last time you did the old dance of love? Was it the 4th of July, Thanksgiving, April Fool's Day, or Labor Day? Leela? Uh, probably Labor Day. Labor Day. Sorry about that one. <laughs> okay. Lotta? <laughs> Oh, 4th of July, because that's the only holiday he remembers, probably. Oh. Yeah. A lot of fireworks, though, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. All those new moves. Oh, yeah. All the moves. Yeah. No positions. 4th of July. 4th of July. 4th of July. Yes. Andrea. 4th of July. 4th of July. Okay, next question, ladies. Where will your husband say is the one place he likes to go without you that causes the most trouble at home? 
Be specific. A lot of words you like to go without you that causes the most trouble at home. Oh, well, I guess strip bar. Pardon me? A strip club, maybe? He goes to a strip club, does he? No, but it doesn't bother me, but I guess, yeah, that's what he Does he go to them, though? No, not that I know about him. Okay, Mia? Cricket. He plays cricket. He plays cricket. Long, long, drawn-out game. It's all day and all night. Oh, I know. I Boring. It. And I don't understand it. Yeah. So. Uh, Andrew? Riding his dirt bike. He goes to ride his dirt bike. Causes trouble at home. Yeah, because he does it a lot. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, probably goes to a nightclub. Cause to a nightclub. Yeah, one time some girl stuck her tongue down his throat, and I had a really hard time with that. How'd you know? Well, he told me. He oh, tells me everything. Yeah. yeah. See, if he wouldn't have told me, it would have been okay. But. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's the last of our ten point questions, ladies. How will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. When my husband blinks, he thinks he's turning me on. But if he would only what? He'd really get my motor running. When he blinks, he thinks he's turning you on. Mia? When he dances. He thinks he's turning you on. But if he would only what? If he only kissed me. Kiss you. Okay, that would really turn you on. <laughs> Andrea? When he jokes around. He jokes around, he thinks he's turning you on. But uh, he'd really get your motor running if he'd only what? Cuddle up more. Cuddle up more. All right, Leela? Uh, he thinks he's turning me on by blowing in my ear. Yeah. But uh, if he would rub my head. Rub your head. That'd do it, huh? <laughs> rub it really nice. No kidding. Pretty <laughs> darn. Lala? He's talking with this like, little, <laughs> little voice, like the, the little guy Bobby thing, that voice is doing. Hey, I just hate that, yeah. So he thinks he's turning you on when he talks like a little I boy. I think so, yeah. But, but, but if he, he really just rub my shoulders. Rub little... your shoulders. Uh -huh. All right, yeah. fine. Great, ladies. Thank you. Now, here's our <laughs> bonus question. 25-point bonus question. Girls, which day of the week will your husband say the two of you had your very first real date? Which day of the week was that, Andrea? Uh, that was Monday. Monday. Leela? Saturday. Saturday. Lada? Thursday. Thursday. Mia? Tuesday. Tuesday. Ladies, thank you very much. It's been fun. We'll be back with our husband. <laughs> All three of our couples there are one, two, and three have five points. Couple number four, you have a chance to do some catching up now. Because, gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And remember, these questions will now be worth ten points. And here it is, guys. Which holiday best represents the very last time you did the old dance of love? Was it Thanksgiving, Labor Day, Fourth of July, or April Fool's Day? Micah, the last time you did the old dance of love, which holiday represents it? Thanksgiving, Labor Day, Fourth of July, April Fool's Day. Oh, uh, I'm going to say Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? Yes. Just thankful, huh? Just right. th thankful, <laughs> She yes. said, no, it was the old boom boom, 4th yeah. of July. Oh. Because it's the only one you remember. I didn't think you remember, remember Thanksgiving. Michael. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 4th of July. 4th of July. A lot of fireworks. Okay. Oh, yeah. he, she predicted you would say Labor Day. <laughs> Labor Day. <laughs> Not much fireworks for her, obviously. <laughs> Labor Day, huh? What do you think, Alan? It's got to be 4th of July. 4th of July. Yeah. She said it has to be the old 4th of July. Yeah. Yeah. Richard. I would have to say probably Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? Yeah, because it's closer to Christmas. I mean, because I don't remember the other things anyway. So. I don't think he got the question there, do you, Mia? All right. Uh, no, 4th of July. Honey, I, I never so, remember 4th of July, no, baby. No, no. <laughs> Fireworks. Yeah, but I never... I, but I never what? remember, honey. I never what do you mean you don't remember? You don't have to celebrate it. But I'm <laughs> well, sometimes you do. <laughs> I think it would be close. Hey, Richard, are you afraid of her? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> you keep ducking when you talk. That's why I'm wondering. Sometimes you're going to have to Yeah, I noticed that, yeah. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. Where's the one place you like to go without your wife that causes the most trouble at home? Michael, where do you like to go without your wife that causes the most trouble at home? Strip club? What? <laughs> Strip club? She predicted you would say you like to go out to the nightclub. Because <laughs> that, that girl put her tongue in your throat? <laughs> Michael, Remember? would you explain to me how that girl got her yeah. tongue down your yeah. throat? Yeah. <laughs> Did you at all like to know? Yeah, Michael. I mean, were you just walking in there and all of a sudden it happened? Or how'd that happen? <laughs> go ahead, Michael. We're, we got time. Go ahead. We were dancing and 
she just walked up to me and kissed me. Mm -hmm. No kidding. <laughs> uh huh. Listen to that. <laughs> Alan. It's got to be the desert. I've got a dirt bike. I like to ride. Oh, it I predicted bike, you would so. say it would be. Yeah, right. The old dirt bike. <laughs> Richard. I would say probably to a uh, party with my friend. Party with your friends. She said that where no where are you going causes the most trouble. Card for me, please. Is uh, when you go play cricket. I can't tell the last day I went to play cricket, honey. You know baby, better than that. Baby, but you don't. Honey, my knee is hurting. I can't tell. When is the last time I went? She said cricket is boring. When is the last time you and I? It doesn't it? matter. It, it creates a problem because I don't like you to go. It doesn't matter when you went. Can I ask you a question? No, no, you can't. Can I ask you a no. question? When's the last time you and I had a little uh, When you went out, but still, cricket exactly. is like Exactly. When, when we went out, right? When we went out. Okay. <laughs> Who's right here? I'm I right. am. Thank you. You know I'm right, right? <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to say nightclubs. Nightclubs. She night said, clubs. you know what she said? She said, you go to a, a strip club. Oh, oh, man. Oh, I haven't been. You're not going to a nightclub. I know. I, know. I, know. Oh, I guess oh, I went to yeah. the wrong. Yeah. Good. Here's the last of our 10-point questions. Gentlemen, how did your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking. When my husband blinks, he thinks he's turning me on. But if he would only what, he'd really get my motor running. When you do what, Alan? You think you're turning her on. But if you'd only what, you'd really get her motor running. Fill in the blank and the what. When I sing to her? When you sing, you think you're turning her on, but you could, uh, if you'd only what, you'd really get her motor running. Strip? Strip. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. When you joke around, but if you'd only cuddle up, that would turn her on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Richard? <sighs> you think you're turning her on when you do what? Probably when I, uh, probably when I hugged her or something. Hug her, That's, but yeah. if you'd what, you'd get her motor running. Take my clothes off. Take your clothes off. <laughs> Guys have a high opinion of themselves, don't they? Yeah. Uh, no, she said that, that uh, when you dance, but if you'd only kiss her, that would really turn her on. Ooh, baby. I kiss you all the time. Micah. Ooh, um. Do you think you're so. turning her on when you? Well, I, I pat, I guess, kind of. But it's when not... you pat her, all right? <coughs> but it would really get her motor running if you would. Um, a little more cuddle pet. <laughs> okay. So we're going from pat to pet here. Pat to pet. Okay. She, she said that you think you're turning her on when you try that little boy sound, but if you don't rub her shoulder. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hate that. I know it doesn't turn you on. That's why yeah, you that's you what I hate it. I know. Hey, Michael. What do you think? You think you're turning her on when you do what? Um, when I'm when I'm cuddling her. When you're cuddling. But if you would only do what? It would really get her motor running. If I dance for her. Dance for her. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I don't think so, Michael. No. You think you're turning on when you blow in her ear, but if you just rub her head, rub her head. it would get better. <laughs> All right. Yo, he's telling me to dance for you. <laughs> dance for me, Mikey. Dance for me. <laughs> our 25 point bonus question we're going to see where our winning couple will be going today on their second honeymoon take a look you'll be going on a caribbean cruise <laughs> you'll spend one week aboard a costa cruise ship europe's leading cruise line visit such ports as st thomas grand cayman ocho rios and costa's private island experience cruising italian style from costa cruises back to you bob Thank you, Kramer. Let's see who's going to go on that Caribbean cruise. Gentlemen, here's your 25-point bonus question for 25 points. Which day of the week did the two of you have your very first real date? What day of the week? Couple number one, Richard and Mia. With five, 25, we give you 30. Richard, get it right. You're in the lead. Ooh. Tuesday. Tuesday. She predicted you would say it was on a Tuesday. Yes. Couple number two, Mike and Lana with five, 25, we give you 30. Mike, what do you say? Thursday. Thursday. She said it was Thursday. Yeah. Double number three, Michael and Leah with five. 25 to give you 30. Get it right. Three-way tie for first place. Friday. Friday. She predicted you would say Saturday. Saturday. Where did I come from? All right, number four. Alan and Andre with 20. 25 gives you 45. Get it right, and you're going on a Caribbean cruise. It was Monday. It was yes! Monday. You're going. Oh, Monday. You're on with the Viking Grand Prize winners. That's all the time we have. Thanks to our couples. Thanks to all of you at home. I'm Bob Eubanks. We'll see you next time on the New Year's Bye-bye.